Hey, it's Dave at Bullpen Cycles. This is day two. It's the opening day. And what a difference a day makes. We got most of our spots full. And there are a lot of people. So let's look around. Seventy seven Mako two hundred and fifty with spares, thirty five hundred dollars. I guess that's the spares in the bucket. First generation Honda Interceptor. I think they only made these a year or two. They had soft cams and went for a recall 84 that's probably the first year Yamaha Daytona Kenny Roberts RZ we saw that on our drive through preview K for that CL350. How to ruin the KLR. SB6. Now this is what Bemotors are known for, not that mantra I have. Suzuki Bemota number six. Looks very slippery. Now this bike is unique because somebody added turn signals. It's not an oil frame. It's an early frame, but it's got later switching, turn signals, and a large tail light. Don't know the story of that. Malcolm Smith Racing, aftermarket desert time, probably for your Yamaha. Bridgestone Hurricane. Yeah, I've got some over there. Yeah, the, the wire one is uh, fabric coated in there. Rotary valve, two carburetors, one on each side. Those really ripped. H1 with chambers, one with stock 
pipes and a first year water buffalo with the four shoe front drum brake. A lot of differences in that first year one. Oh, there's an Indian Woodsman by Royal Enfield. Ironhead Sporty. The Rickman Zunda. That's not a sack. Oh, wait a minute. That has disc yeah. brakes. Look at that. Somebody added their disc brake. They try to make. I think if you have a nickel plated frame, you do a better welding job than that. Oh well. Here's a cub with a rally kit. And the name Papoose. Some rides and a sign. Oh, you gotta put a nickel in it. You have to put a nickel in it. It cost you a nickel to ride. Yeah. It's five cents, but you're too big. Yeah, yeah. Crazy number. Attention, parents. Please do not leave your time. child unattended while riding the ride. Enjoy the ride, kids. This is a Mustang Pony. Trike. Never seen a trike. That's that American Mustang. The Berman box. We think it's a Villers motor. Can't read the price. Someone's going to recognize that frame because I do not. SX250, 1990. That's $1,990. Oh, I got to show this Gina Macho. This is a Gina Macho. This is made in Argentina. It's an Argentine Galera. They actually made. Galeras in Argentina, fully licensed factory. Here's a TR5T trophy trail, most of it. No title. $2,400. Someone will probably actually fix that. Topper missing some parts. Oh, right here, whole couple of parts. Oh, well, I, I didn't see the shield. Still, still the front end. Yeah. <laughs> Baby four cylinders and the real one. And I don't know what this side car is, but it's cool. Zephyr. But it gets hot in there. Oh, but look, the top comes off. Twelve hundred bucks for that Hodaka. Man, that tank's worth three, four hundred dollars alone. Oh, this is a folding kitty cat. We've seen these before. Boy, they're popping up everywhere, but that one looks like it's almost new. Don't know the story on that. Baby Indian sidecar. Honda Hobbit, $1,500. MB5, well, let's say $2,500. L500 Replica Project Bright. 
Husky Long and Frame, Triple Clamps, YZ250 Wheels, Forks, KTM Swing Arm, XT500 Motor. Search for the perfect bike container. Oh, what's his name? SRX250. Second generation Dixer, 10 grand. Wow. Oh, another sidecar. Motivation. Pretty cool. They were in California. I actually ordered one once. Put it on my XS1100 I had at the time. There's a Velorex. I was talking to this guy. Okay. Let's see if I come up with money and space. It has all the mounts, has the clamps, has the roof. Those were made by Jawa in Czechoslovakia, and I think you can still get them. Let's see him start this big matchless single. Yeah, maybe it blooded up, but it's been a while. Yeah. What's this here? Choke. What's this here? Uh, magneto. Magneto, gotcha. Okay. You retarded the magneto. Yeah, I recognize that. Oh. Yeah. So you, you, you retard it. Yeah, it oh, doesn't yeah, yeah, fire until it's yeah. just after top dead center. Gotcha. That way... It I don't is, have that option. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Which, on the Victor, sometimes you get a kickback. Oh, oh, yeah. Good to go. Great idea. Nope. Doesn't want to start. Okay. Oh, fun. Sorry. Thanks for your tip. I, uh... I would be exhausted too. Yes. <laughs> this is the competition one. CS competition. See the skid plate? That was a clean match list. I wanted to hear it light. But now you know why I don't like big, big kickstart only single cylinders. Zip cycle CMX. Two hundred bucks. Pretty cool. So when the Commando first came out, you had this. They called that the fastback. Boy, that one's clean. And you got the Atlas style forks with the drum brake. Very clean. That's, I don't want to insult it if it's a Chang Yang. I'm guessing from the carburetors it's Chinese. Here's a U50. Oh. Turbocharged CX650. Osa Phantom. like it's factory judging from the side panel. Another Osa. Uh, I think that's a Marusho Lilac. That's a V-twin with the cylinders off. There's another Osa. He's gonna go. Looks like a pioneer with the lights off. Okay, yeah, so there. This is a big deal, folks. The 
you're into vintage bikes or you catch the bug, this is where to be. KZ1000, maybe an R27, 25, a TX500. Oh, like the one I sold, the CB450, 4750. One of them 50cc midnight specials. A lot of these were given off as raffle bikes. They made the big midnight special, which I think was out of the maximum. This is 50cc's, street legal. Won't go that fast, but they're different. I think they only made them a year or two. Is that a T160? Yeah, this is a one year only bike. Now, other than the pipes, it's, oh, and the air box, this would be worth doing because it's the only year with electric start. First year H1, a purple Norton Fast Pass. He's going to fix it up a little bit. Late Trumpet Special. Sorry. Excuse me. No, I think he was offended. Oh well. Okay, this is a. 146, that's a 360 Boltaco Astro, but it's in a Trackmaster frame. See the square swing arm and the nickel plating. And a spare motor. Sherpa, oh, you've got a bunch of Boltacos. Two Sherpa T's, T for trial. Another shirt for tea. This is a good place to get your English spares. I think they're in Can Canada. I was about to say Canadian. <laughs> We've seen them before. I think at the new Smyrna swap meet. He literally got it. 75 Honda XL 250. $1,200. That sounds like a bargain. Something before both of us. Yeah. You got, you got any Honda stuff? So he says CCM was the tail end of Armstrong and it's a cousin of the of the Army Harley. An E Start 604 motor. And it was an absolutely worst machine because it had 1900 bucks. It was probably worth that for the motor. People do this, they turn their Yamaha Virago into a Vincent. 
apparently the only connection is that the engines are black. There's an orange 125. We're not doing those anymore. But I do still have parts for it. And I said, we're trying to Live on the scene of Dave Nigeria. Yeah, it is, it is. Swap meet report. This is, folks, this is the KS. It's not a 6 0, it's a KS 600, right? Yes. And this just completed the cross country chase tour. How many miles did you end up going on that? 2,330. And you won first place, class yeah, two. Class two. And this looks like a Zundap Norma Comfort. Norma Luxus. Luxus. So Luxus, what gave you the sprung hub? Jeff Wright. Yep. Oh, it's got. Has it got that dual slide carburetor? Yes, it does. It befuddles the hell out of me. There's two slides in that carburetor. Yeah, it's it's typical German over engineering. Uh, it's a primary and a secondary because the tab comes out and picks up the other one. Oh, well, I'm glad to know. I didn't even know that. That's how I, yeah, cause I, had, I had the enduro version, which I'm trying to get back. I have I have an enduro version of this bike being refurbished now. It's got that same carb on it. Yeah, I had it and I sold it to my friend, the shop that I bought out, but the family kept it. The high pipe? Yeah. Yeah, I've got one. Yeah, I have a sales literature for it. I'll photocopy it. For okay, I, need, a lot I can of people, use that information. A lot of people need that to prove that it's actually a real thing. I know. Yeah. Here's your Scorpa. So, where Yamaha went with TY, Scorpa gave you SY, and I don't like yellow bikes, so. I'm looking at it. Maybe the same goes for purple. Ugh. I don't know. Did an H100 come with that pipe with the little expansion chamber? <coughs> Kawasaki Avenger. Now that would be very similar to that Bridgestone. That's the 350 rotary valve twin. I think I'd rather have that than a Yamaha DS. Monoshock Mako. Uh oh. There we go. Rough Superior. something or another <laughs> 900 bucks for that Yamaha yeah see so we drove by this on the preview it's not a 500 it's a 350 so it's not a Titan push to start I have to get me some of those stickers that's pretty funny GS, this is the PD. Same year as my GS. Hey, what's the story on this one? It's got that big giant gas tank on it. And a bigger bash plate. Different front brush guard. This is a But it's pretty trick. Disc brakes, front and back. Are those Tirianis? Because I've never seen them with a square bottom. Forty-two millimeters something. Yeah, no, I know that. That's a nice little project. Yeah, that's a. Well, I'm saying. 
up. Here's the Mustang Pony. Remember the one from our other video when we went to Metro Racing? Mustang Pony with a Triumph 500 shoved in it. 4,500 bucks. So I guess I shouldn't bother to build mine. You can just buy one. No battery. do a story on my Honda Gromster. Well, Greg got all set up. Hey Dave! Hello oh, there. <laughs> You're on it. You're tagged. Here's Bruce. With another rare NSU and a CZ hiding, but no, that's a Kawasaki. No, it's a husky. Oh, it's a husky. Well, I screwed up. Norton P11. Next to something that says FMB. But it, it, it's probably a. I can't remember if it was a. No, it's not. Oh, so that's a goosey. Well, you're right, it is another goosey. But you know, a lot of the Italian bikes, there was like one. They say it's Moto Goosey. I don't think so. But. I don't know. This is some kind of yama. safety wire. Japanese two strokes. We 
greeny meeny replica. That looks like. Is that a. It's a CBX Yo, racer. Wow. No more water. It's on a diet. Exactly. It's a custom water buffalo. That guy's parked at my motel. We're going to hope to see that later. Here's their tra early trail bike. We've got the livestock rack. High pipe and the bash guard. You were just taking over when I saw your mom. Alright, well, you lost me at right hand drive. But this sunbeam sort of neat. Upright twin. Sheriff Drive. I think the company merged eventually with BSA. Oh, here's my little bike. Alright, so now this bike has been sold and been flipped twice, maybe three times. Guys, I sold it, it was over there, then over here. I don't know, guy. So maybe I sold it too cheap, or maybe it's the greater fool theory at work. Hey Bill, I should play dumb and ask how much he wants for that Honda. But frankly, I don't care. So, it was available. Oh, here's a DT50. This is actually a rare bike. I always wanted one of these. I don't know why I wanted one of these. Water cooled, 50cc, street legal, two stroke. I think only made a year or two. It doesn't look like there's anything to knock on that one. 750 Triumph motor with McToonies. Says IKEA IKEA version BMW. So we got a lot of those early Honda interceptors here this year. RT 360. Now these are the original ones, because the later ones, the pipe went through the frame and you got a high fender. I think this is the last year for the RT. And 5,500 bucks is probably worth that. Very nice. Okay, this is an old Maxxis that I used to own. And I've seen it dragged around various swap meets now for a number of years. I don't think I got $2,400 for that bike when I sold it. That's the greater fool theory. There's always someone stupider than you. So that's why the price keeps going up. We gotta find that more stupider guy. Credit my dad for that one. Another CBX. Oh, we were looking at this. This is an Eldorado with a 1,000 cc motor in it. A stone. The dumbest name for a bike. Rides like a stone. Drops like a rock. Okay, 
So if you saw on our preview, there was a TS-125 up there. It's now, they must have traded it. There's my old Harley. Now this is something special. This is an RR, and we haven't figured out whether it's an RR250 or an RR350. The bikes were similar except for the barrels. This would have been 73, 74. It's totally Italian, it's totally Yamaki. 100% owned by Harley. And they were actually very successful. I think they won in 70, those years, in 73 and 74. Here's your XLCR. Here's a Moto Guzzi. Maybe it's a Falcone or Falcone. Uh oh, gotta see the engine number. Model 21. I have to look that up. That might be like a Matador. Forty-eight grand. Boy, those early Ducatis. They bring a lot. Like a Kirker pipe. Oh, that's a kook. Is that the grandson? Can he get it? No, you're this fine. <laughs> he's, he's my grand. He's the only one I got. He's interested in this stuff. Look I told him that we should resell all our stuff, Luke. We're not coming back. So, yeah, we are, too. I'm a we'll sucker for old race bikes. <laughs> All right, so here's an NSU Max. Now, if you were watching my videos and you saw my Maxi, that was the smaller sister to this. This is the full-size bike. And later they came out with a Super Max. It's got that crazy connecting rod for a push rod. This is very nice. And it's $9,800. That seems like a lot. ATK. These are American, made in Utah. Very nice. That looks like a Bombardier two stroke. Upside down forks. CCM 604, okay. I mean, I got 70. I think this is the English version. Or you can give me a 20 back and we can call it easy. I'll give you $80. Oh, here's an SWM Trials. That's Italian. I got 70 here. Early Honda. Oh. This is like a club of people who ride Honda Dreams. It's kind of like the Mad Max of Honda Dreams. Here's a restored pony, $6,500. Now, I was talking to this, this gentleman. This is not a converted hurricane. This is apparently a 174cc 
Works Flat Tracker. He told me the name, and I forget. But apparently they had to board down the hurricane to get into the class limit. This is what he tells me, so I don't know if it's all true. I've never seen one like this. He said they built, I don't know, six or nine. This is Bridgestone. We'll have to see if we can hook up with him. Walkthrough. Okay, so that was a walkthrough. This is just the old lot. We're finishing it up. There's a whole nother lot, folks. But, well, I went through three batteries and two memory cards. So, I don't know if I... I'll get up there for this video series. I'm going to try. I've got to charge my batteries and upload my video clips.